Welcome back to another video. A um, little hiccup there, but before I hit the play button here, we're going to talk about abortion. And it's not really something I usually talk about. Uh, it's a female issue, but it is very much a male issue too, actually. And um, I'll, I'll tell you why we're talking about it. Um, I uh, recently got to know somewhat briefly and casually a neighbor of mine who for some reason decided to tell me about her abortion. But first, let's watch this. Talk to us about uh, post-traumatic stress related uh, particularly to abortion. Can you tell us something about it? Yes, uh, we've been looking at abortion for 26 years as it has a, an impact on women and men. And what we've determined is that uh, abortion is a traumatic experience because it is a human death intentionally caused um, experience. Uh, abortion can create PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, because it is beyond the normal scope of human functioning to terminate the life of their child. It's an intentionally caused death, and as such, um, visits upon the women and the men that participate, unwanted re-experiencing of the abortion, as well as symptoms of avoidance and um, denial. In addition, uh, there are many other associated factors that go along with post-traumatic stress disorder, and those include um, fetal nightmares, uh, unconsolable, uh, crying and grief reactions. There's substance use and abuse, um, difficulty in relationships, tremendous survivor guilt. All of these things can uh, get together and basically disable individuals from their normal functioning in life. The definition was actually made by you uh, many years ago. It was the first uh, breaking news on the subject. That's right. It's, it's old news, but it's in 1981 I developed this and presented the, the diagnostic criteria before the U.S. Congress and uh, talked about the impact of abortion um, on the individual as a traumatic episode and then also on the effect on family life. So, um, and it was modeled after the American Psychiatric Association's uh, post-traumatic stress disorder category. Do you find that it's important for a woman that uh, uh, is considering abortion to know this, these things? Yes, I think it's very important for women in making any medical decision to be fully informed. And the research that um, I have done, Dr. Coleman and others, has consistently shown that women want more information, not less information. And they want accurate information, not information that has a political spin to it, but accurate medical scientific information that's useful in, in looking at the risks and benefits of treatment or non-treatment. Thank you. Okay. So there you have it. If you think, if you're a lady, which by the way, I think 99.9% .9 of my audience is not. So if you're that 0.1% who is a woman who watches my channel, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Um, I know I gear this channel for men, so appreciate you. And uh, if you were ever thinking about having an abortion, don't do it. Please, for the love of God, and I mean that literally, do not do it. Um, why did I bring this up? Well, it's kind of been like something in the back of my mind, but you know, a few months back when this, let's call it these closures, when these closures came, um, we all were working from home or out of a job and spending a lot of time home, walking around the neighborhood. You know, my neighborhood has seen a lot more walking and bike riding and actual like community, if you want to call it that, because we're not all wasting our money at restaurants, you know? We're eating at home, everybody is. And most people are hanging out in front of their houses and whatnot. Anyway, I often, as you guys know from my previous videos a few months back, I used to um, walk my kid on this particular path and I would do my videos there on the AirPods, which I don't do anymore because the quality is so bad. Anyhow, I remember passing by this one woman she wasn't wearing a mask, you know, especially when everybody really was wearing masks and I wasn't either. And we got to talking. I think we talked for like 40 minutes. The first time I met her, she was basically like telling me, you know, she was in real estate and 
how old her kid was and how she thought my kid was super cute and just neighborly stuff. And we've since bumped into each other a few more times over the last few weeks. And then I was telling her about how, you know, my woman is pregnant again and uh, how we're so happy for our second child. And she's like, started going into how her kid, which by the way, I'd seen him, he was starting to come on walks and my goodness, he's a three-year-old being pushed around in a stroller with a, like he's laying down in one like he was a newborn. It's kind of weird if you ask me, but maybe that's what some parents do. I mean, a little bit of a segue here, but a three-year-old, you can start walking. We can walk. Um, anyway, she starts telling me that this three-year-old was actually a set of triplets. So in my mind, I'm like, oh God, what happened to the other two babies? His, you know, his brothers and sisters, his, uh, I don't want to say twins, but yeah, I mean, I, I guess his twins because he would have been one of three. What happened to the other two? Turns out one of them didn't make it. I think that's natural when you've got three or more, it's possible that the babies will like consume one for resources or one of them will just sadly die by natural causes in the womb. But you know what happened to the other one? Well, she decided to tell me. I didn't pry into her personal life. I didn't ask her any questions. I didn't judge her. I didn't say anything. She just went off on this story of how she aborted the other one. Literally. One died naturally but because she didn't want to raise twins, because she thought it would have been so hard. By the way, this is a woman who doesn't even work. Her husband works. She is a stay at home. Because it's so hard, she thought, she literally had the doctor selectively abort one of the kids. I could not believe it. And at the time, I was still trying to be as nice as possible, and I did not judge her. I didn't say, you are a murderer. What the hell is wrong with you? I didn't say, how could you do that? Are you going to tell your kid that when he's 10 years old and how he would have had a brother that looked just like him who he may still feel a connection to but is gone? Like, didn't say any of that, but she started almost trying to convince herself of why she did it. I didn't ask her a single question. I didn't say anything. I just nodded and kept hearing her story. And she was like, it just would have been so hard. It just would have been so hard for me, you know, trying to raise two babies. You know how hard it is with just the one. And I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, and I, I don't know, like, I think about it sometimes. And, you know, I, I, I think it was the right decision. But you could tell by the way she was talking that she is not over it. That she is what this video is and why I'm, why I'm, I just shared this three-minute clip from this doctor. Women, ladies, if you murder your, your kid, you're going to feel it. You're going to remember it forever. You're not just going to get over it. Um, by the way, this kid who is still alive, who was the lucky one who didn't die naturally or was aborted by his mother, he's got an issue. It's a very weird issue, but one of his eyes is like, it's like up in his head. I don't know. I don't know what that condition is. Where his one of his eyes is normal, but the other one's like literally up into his head. Like he can't see out of one eye for sure. Not normally. And uh, huh, I'm like actually wondering now. Did that happen because Doctor stuck a needle and killed one of his brothers or sisters, and maybe hit him in the eye while they were doing it? You know what I mean? Like, is this a result of a botched abortion? Like, oh my God, lady, you killed your kids, brother or sister, why? If you're gonna do it, like if you don't wanna raise your kid, then at least give them up for adoption. Do not murder them. I'm almost certain that's like, it's like one of the worst things you can do, like murder. This lady outright murdered her baby. She's not over it. She has this trauma and this PTSD from this abortion that is talked about in this video, as I, as I think so, because she's literally trying to convince me and I was not taking a judgmental tone, nor asking her or poking or doing any kind of follow-up questions. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd do a video on it. Abortion is super, super wrong. I don't know what the abortion culture is like in places like India, where we have um, uh, some of our viewers are from, I guess, here on this channel. But um, yeah, in America, 
in this new fallen west, it's like the cool thing to do, you know? Get fucking knocked up because you're a whore. And then I go, I'll just get an abortion. In this case, this lady had it all. She is high class, lives in a really nice area, has a husband who makes good money and takes care of her, and yet she didn't want to raise a second child because she thought it would be too hard. Fuck. I cannot believe it. Don't have an abortion. Like, if you are the guy that knocks somebody up, like, please try to convince them to give the child up for adoption. Otherwise, your soul is probably going to burn in hell unless you seek the forgiveness of Christ. Like, I don't know what to say. It's murder. I don't care if it's in the womb or out of the womb. It is murder. And that's what's been on my mind, so I figured I'd make a video on it. Anyway, you guys have a good one.